Welcome to Kingfield for this Blue Square Bet South fixture between Woking and Basingstoke Town. After victory at St Albans last week, Graham Baker makes no changes to his starting eleven, and there's only one change on the bench. Andy Forbes in for the departed Gomez Darley. Once again, they will line up in a 4-4-2 formation. Basingstoke bring with them some familiar faces. On the pitch, Matt Patterson and Jay Gasson return, and they are managed by ex-Woking management duo Frank Gray and Jerry Murphy. And Woking will get this game underway here. Long throw into the Woking area. Adimola will flick it away. And a long shot comes in from Matt Warner. That won't trouble any Pidgeley. Little with this corner. McNerney at the back post. Little over this free kick. Good delivery. Bush with the flick to header. And that's just over the crossbar. McNerney with the header. Ball might now come to Jason Downs, who gets in an effort. Scored here last season in this fixture. Gasson winning the header, but only putting it into the path of Adam Mola. He'll try and pick out Gilroy. And that's a good tackle from Rob Rice to stop Woking's top score, adding another to his tally. Francis Kwan with the ball forward. That's a miss kick from Ross Adams. Oh, and that's a poor back pass, and Gilroy could be in. And that's a good save from Chris Tardiff, and Gasson clears. Little with the corner. Oh, and that goes all the way through to Chris Tardiff. Alden with the ball out to Ricky Anan. He goes past Matt Patterson. He gets a shot in, and it might fall for Dave Gilroy. Oh, and he's turned the ball wide. The best opportunity of the match so far. But Gilroy couldn't quite find the target on the turn. Bush on the ball for working. Clipping the ball forward to Andy Mola, who wins the header. And it might come back to Bush here. Chris Bush, good save from Tardiff. Here's Little now from the quick throw in. Gasson heads it away, could come to Anan. Blocked there by Raw Warner, and that'll be a corner to Woking. Little to deliver the corner. It's flicked away, McNerney will chase it and win it. And now with the cross, flicked away by Nathan Smart, but it will come to Little. And now Gilroy with the header. <laughs> Patterson on the ball. Picks out the run of Warner. And he puts in a low cross and it comes to Downs and Francis Kwam gets in a tackle. Blazing Stoke fans half-hearted appeals for penal a penalty there. I don't think the referee's having any of that. Ricketts winning it. And Malden now playing it out to Ricky Anan. Looking for the ball back to Malden. Ball in. Gilroy with the effort. And that's well blocked by Adams. And Blazing Stoke will survive. Graham Baker has made changes. Hurrell puts the corner in, and Falkenbridge with the header. And that would have been an ideal start for his two substitutes. GD Ubuntu, but he's given the ball away to Kwam, who plays the ball to Falkenbridge, and he knocks it into the path of Malden on the charge now. Now Adimola. That's a great cross from Adimola. Falkenbridge! Yes! Such a prolific scorer at the end of last season. And he's got his first goal of the new one now. On as a substitute, he's had exactly the impact Graham Baker would have wanted. He's got that vital goal for the cards with an absolutely superb header from a very good Animola cross. 73 minutes gone, and Woking finally take the lead.
Paul Cambridge goes for the header. And now it's Gilroy. Knocks it to Animola. Takes on Warner and clips in the ball to the back post. And Adams does well to get in ahead of Falkenbridge. Dimola picks out Malden. And he picks out Hurrell. And look at the pace of Hurrell here as he steams down the left wing. Can he pick someone out in the middle? Gilroy! Oh, that's a good block from Gasson. And Basingstoke can clear. Greg Draper on the ball. Turning well and finding Patterson, who plays it back to Draper. Good save from Pidgeley. Chris Bush on the ball. Dinking inside. Nice little one-two with Falkenbridge. Good tackle from Smart, but it comes to Alan Inns. And now Animola. Looking very dangerous, Animola. Drives it low across the area, and Falkenbridge can't quite make that. So unlucky from the cards, who look really like they could have had a second here. Hurrell with the corner. Oh, Falkenbridge with the header, and that has to be headed away by Gasson. Bush. Oh, and it's too much for Patterson. And he lines one up on his left foot. Oh, and that's a good save from Tardif. Diving to his right to keep out Bush's long range effort. Oh, with the quick corner. Here's Malden. Back to Hurrell. Falkenbridge with the header. Bush with the throw. Falkenbridge with the touch. Bush again. Encouraged to go to the corner. Oh, but he's managed to trick his way around three players and into the penalty area. And still Bush now. He just can't seem to get the ball off him. And he finally picks out Falkenbridge. Oh, and what a goal that is. Excellent work from Bush and Falkenbridge applies the finish. It's his second of the match. Surely seals all three points for working now in the 93rd minute. Malden with the challenge. And the final whistle goes here, and working have won 2 0 thanks to two goals from substitute Craig Falkenbridge. Elsewhere in Blue Square Bet South, the big news is that Bromley have lost their 100% record. They've drawn at home against St Albans City. And the Cards sit in seventh position, moving up from tenth and just three points off the playoffs.